I'm a Nebraska kid, uh, born in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska, raised basically in Omaha. Um, grew up, you know, with the good Midwestern work ethic and values. Uh, went to work for my dream company, Peter Kiewit and Sons, in 1988, thinking I'd found my long career back in Omaha. Worked there one day, I've never been back. So that's kind of how I started and got into the construction. And uh, from that very first day, was sent to my first job. Um, I was on, been on the road and haven't been back to Omaha since 1988 to live. So uh, now I've lived all over. I think I have multiple defining moments, each at kind of a different stage of life. I had somebody who cared about me, um, coached me up, gave me an opportunity, believed in me, and uh, you know let me either win or fail on my own. And um, had that happen a lot of times, from you know my my dad and my mom to my first coaches. Uh, up to my partner now, who was my first boss. So about 2015, uh, I received a call from an old friend who was running a big uh, service provider business that had just won a $750 million project to design and build fiber for an end user customer of his. And about that same time, uh, I wasn't doing a lot. I'd just come off an assignment. Uh, my partner, Kevin O'Hara, uh, it just come kind of off an assignment. We were looking for a new opportunity. So we went down to uh, take the meeting and we walked in very quickly um, to a meeting where it appeared that the contractor that won it wasn't ready to do this kind of program. They didn't have the skill set, didn't have the experience. And to build a greenfield network especially, um, which is doesn't have the right of way in place, doesn't have any of the deals in place uh, to build, is really hard. Not many people have done it and they weren't ready for it. And we left that meeting and we asked ourselves a question, why is a huge owner going to somebody who's never built a $750 million project? Um, because when Kevin and I were starting our careers, that's what we did. We built massive uh, new fiber networks. So our idea was to kind of put the band back together and to build a company of scale that could take it from really just an idea to really implementing and seeing the network. Um, so today, that's exactly what we do.